Hello everybody, this is General Yanis, and today in Death Car Tactics I'm going to be looking at the revealed rules for Morvan Val, the Adepta Sororita Supreme Commander, uh, with the revealed rules from Warhammer Community. So let's uh, take a look. So today, the 10th of May, Warhammer Community has revealed stats and weapons for the Adopta Sororita Supreme Commander and High Lord of Terra, Morvan Val. And I know uh, this uh, this model, at least for me, with his work suits, uh, looks kind of funny. I, I think in in this in this uh, art here, it looks a bit more uh, grim dark. Uh, but this one uh, looks like a yeah, uh, <laughs> like carrying a baby uh, in the front of something. But um, let's look at the. In this video, we'll be looking at the stat lines, the weapons, the rules, initial damage output calculations, and a little bit about your ability. So let's get started. So uh, the stats of Morvan Val uh, reveal a very good uh, stat line with 2 plus uh, weapon skill, ballistic skill, also quite good movement, 8 inches, strength 5, toughness 5, 8 wounds, uh, 5 attacks, 9 leadership and a 2 plus save. So the 8 wounds also mean that she can be protected by the lookout um, sir or probably madam, um, and but the durability uh, of the model is higher than, than the stats uh, reveal at first because uh, she has this uh, Purgator uh, Mirabilis War Suit, so this gives her a 4 plus invul save, uh, and each time uh, she receives mortal wounds, she can, she can still have a 4 plus uh, save, so a 4 plus feel no pain against mortal wounds, so this is also a very good protection from psychic abilities. Additionally, the Holy Aegis uh, is really strong, so each time she receives an attack, uh, you are having the damage characteristic of that attack rounding up. So this is a really, really a very strong uh, defensive and durable uh, character uh, with having the incoming damage and basically much better than the Disgusting Resilience minus one damage uh, for from that Death Guard is uh, benefiting. Then if we look at the weapons, uh, she's equipped with a melee weapon, the Lance of Illumination. It has two profiles, uh, uh, the Lunging Strike, which is the strong profile, let's say, with a strength uh, plus three, uh, so basically bringing her to a strength eight, AP minus three, damage three weapon, which additionally deals extra mortal wounds on sixes to wound, so quite very potent and strong uh, weapon. And uh, she can also use the Sweeping Blow which is a, a 10 attack. She, she can do two hit rolls, uh, but it's only strength five, basically AP minus two and damage one weapon. And then on top of this, the war suit uh, also has, in essence, a twin missile launcher. Uh, so uh, you, it has this missile launcher. You can select uh, either the frag type profile with heavy 2d6 shots, strength four, AP zero, damage one, or the Prioris missile, which is basically a crack missile with a strength eight, AP minus two, D6, and it has two shots. So also uh, a, a missile launcher for a long range shooting 36 inches. Uh, she also, uh, we also have seen revealed rules for her uh, buffing abilities for Adeptas Sororitas. So she has the Abes Sanctorum Aura, which gives all friendly Adepta Sororitas core units within six inches of, of, of Marvel. Uh, each time uh, that they make an attack, you can reroll a hit roll of one and reroll the wound roll of one. So, so this aura is, uh, is really good and it's better than, for example, the Lord of Death Guard aura. Uh, giving both reroll of once to hit and reroll once to wound, and this will mean even more trouble uh, facing uh, sisters equipped with multi meltas. And let's see if the retributors will be core with all the multi meltas they can carry close to the Marvin Val. Uh, they will be able to deal out a lot of pain uh, with uh, with so many uh, good rerolls here. On top of the aura. She also has uh, the ability of commander of the Adepta Sororita. So in the command facing, I select uh, one friendly core unit or a character unit. Uh, and then until the next turn, uh, the, the models uh, get, the unit gets uh, reroll all to hit and all to wound rolls. And basically as a character, she can also select herself. Uh, again, better than many similar auras, for example, that, that Mortarion has. So this is, is, is a better better rule, of course, giving both all rerolls to hit and all rerolls uh, to wound. 
So uh, let's uh, quickly look at Morven Val's uh, weapons uh, damage output. And uh, here I assume that she targets herself for uh, the reroll all to hit and all to wound. And uh, with uh, the, the best weapon she has is the lance, the melee weapon, the lunging strike, the, the strong profile. And we can see with the blue line how much damage she can do across uh, different targets here. Uh, and we can basically see, see she can do 8, 10, 12 wounds depending on the on the target. Here we have the targets with invul saves and she can do a very good damage across uh, several targets here. Uh, and um, and the, the sweeping blow is the, the orange line is only better for one wound targets, uh, for example, like fire warriors or guardsmen or, or something similar. Uh, and we can see she can also almost do six wounds on Gilliman uh, here, quite interesting. And um, allowing her uh, to reroll all to hit and all to wound, she could be able to fish for more sixes to wound against the, the, high t the targets with high invul saves. And uh, additionally, we can see here the, the missile, the frag type is the gray line and the the strong, let's say, crack missile type is the yellow line, also giving her a, some ranged threat in the game. If we look at uh, Morven Val and what she, could she do versus Death Guard in melee with uh, with the launching strike and the sweeping blow, we can see here uh, the damage she's expected to make uh, with three rolling uh, all to hit and all to wound uh, against uh, here our characters and uh, infantry and, and units and squads here. So she can do uh, some some good damage, for example, against the Demon Prince or Typhus. Uh, our plague casters, Virion, are in danger, of course, if they face her in, in melee. She would be able to kill, let's say, three marine, plague marines in, in a round of combat, only one Terminator, uh, a couple of Boxwalkers, Cultists, and, and some Possessed. If we look at the 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 vehicles uh, she can do uh, quite a lot to the vehicles that uh, don't have disgusting resilience like the chaos rhino or the defiler but for example only four expected wounds on a plague verse crawler only two wounds expected or so on mortarion so uh, she can she can do some decent damage versus death card in melee basically her damage three weapon becomes a damage two weapon but she's not expected to be able to take out our big targets, uh, big characters out. But uh, since she has these strong supportive uh, characteristics uh, with her ranged uh, shooting as well, she can probably help the Battle Sisters uh, yeah, take out a lot of Death Guard units uh, while shooting with Meltas, for example. And then she can also defend herself and uh, do some damage in melee if when the, when the combat comes close to her. So uh, finally, let's look at Morven Val's uh, durability. So basically the halving, uh, halving of the damage uh, incoming from the, the damage profiles. Here we can see uh, from, from damage one up to damage six, of course, halving the damage rounding up uh, reduces severely the damage. So the maximum damage uh, she can take from this uh, fixed, fixed numbers here is damage three. A D3 damage weapon will only be doing 1.3 wounds on average on her. A D6 damage weapon basically becomes a D3, a normal D3, so maximum uh, average of, of two damage. A D6 plus two weapon, the multi meltas or meltas at half range, they will be on average doing three wounds of her on her. She will only be able to take two, three, or four damage here, depending on the roll. And the, even the D3 plus three weapons that are really strong against very many targets, she will be taking 2.7 wounds on average. She could basically only get two or three wounds from a D3 plus three weapon. And even a smite with a D3 mortal wounds, on average, she would only be taking one mortal wound with her four plus uh, save on mortal wounds. So really, with this uh, durability, she has the invul saves and the halving the damage she has very big reduction in the incoming damage across uh, various uh, weapons. And then here, uh, just a small a quick calculation here, uh, some uh, units from the Death Guard uh, army doing attacks on, uh, on Marvin Val. For example, the Contemptor with the two, two, with the two twin Volkites with no further buffs would be only doing two wounds on average on her. 
uh, this weapon, um, the Volkite, can do some mortal wounds, but she has some saves for that. Uh, they have AP0, uh, so it doesn't really help, and the damage to becomes 1. So not really a good weapon, the Contemptor with two Volkites to shoot at Morven Val. The Plague Rush Scroller with the Entropy Cannon and the Mortar and the Slugger only can do also a couple of wounds. Lord of Contagion with Plague Reaper, three wounds. A Demon Prince with a Hellforged Sword can bring him down to four wounds. And basically to be able to take her out in a round of combat, we would need either something like Mortarion, just barely making nine or ten wounds. And with some, let's say if, if she has some good save rolls, uh, she would be able to survive uh, a round. And uh, even five Death Shroud, they should be using the Scything profile because they're uh, with a cleave profile, they will still only be doing one damage. So here at least they would get 42 attacks. They will be able to do nine wounds. So just barely uh, being able to take her out on average. So there will be a lot of situations where even with his massive attacks here, she would be able to survive. So uh, reaching the summary and final thoughts for this video. So uh, today we, we looked at the Morven Val's uh, rules revealed. Of course, we don't know her point cost yet and other rules in the codex, but from the looks of it, she looks like a very strong supporting character, giving uh, the ability to give rerolls to the battle sisters, and they will become even more dangerous uh, with her Meltas. Uh, she's potent in melee with good high damaging lance and, and possibility to deal mortal wounds, uh, missiles for long range fire support. And she's not a beast in melee, though, to single-handedly take out large death guard units, but she can be a threat uh, with yeah, both her shooting and then when she comes in melee, she can definitely do some damage, but it's not, she's not like a beast, like a Mortarion, of course. Uh, and then maybe her biggest attribute is the very high durability with 4 plus inval saves, halving incoming damage and also protection from mortal wounds. Uh, and with a quick math I have been doing here, only Mortarion and a big unit of Death Shroud in the Death Guard can just barely take her out in one round of melee, making him a very, making her a very strong uh, character and very durable. So with these words, uh, this concludes the video. What do you think about Morven Val and the revealed rules? Um, if you like this video, please press like and subscribe to the channel. And um, if you want to support my efforts more, uh, please visit my Patreon page, patreon.com General Yanis, uh, and leave some comments below. Uh, let me know what you think. And uh, with his words, General Yanis is signing out. Stay safe out there and bye bye.